I've done that ride so many times I have it completely memorized, and each time I ride it, I'm six years old again. As opposed to when I get off and I just act like I'm six years old. Now the Magic Kingdom version... Alright, that's it! M Mickey? What are you doing here? I've had it with your whining! It's all California's better this and California's better that! Both parks can't be exactly the same, you know! Well, well I'm sorry, but, but I grew up with Disneyland, you know? It was this awesome place we only got to visit once every few years, and as a kid it was really the pinnacle of- Suck it, Gansel! Just find something about the park to enjoy, you whiny son of a- Okay, okay. Look, I was just going to say, the Magic Kingdom version is different. Toontown, California is a lot bigger than Toontown Fair. Oh boy, here we go. So join us next time when we visit Epcot. You're not off the freaking hook yet, mister! I suppose you're gonna be all pissed off at Epcot for not having everything California Adventure has! Hey, hey now, uh, that, that's not fair. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. If there's something I don't like, I'll address it, but... Yeah, cram it! I don't want to hear it, you freaking douchebag! Mickey Mouse just called me a douchebag. There's also a video screen that theorizes about your future based on the unflattering photo they take at the beginning of the ride and some data they ask regarding your interests. Um, well, why does the Disney Corporation want to know so much about me? Reason. After spending some time on Spaceship Earth, you're about ready to leave Earth on another spaceship with Mission Space. Oh, by the way, your segues really suck! Hey, shut up. Finally, there's Soarin', a ride which originally opened at Disney's California Adventure under the name Soarin' Over California. It's the same exact ride, but I guess they shortened the title to Soarin' here because people don't like to be reminded that there is a California with a theme park that costs less and offers more than Magic Kingdom. Gansel, you're trying my patience! <sighs> fine. I'm sorry. Would, would you feel better if I badmouthed California for a while? Uh, not really. I'd prefer it if you didn't complain at well, all. Well, here we go. I've only been to California Adventure once, and it was in the first year of its existence. I hear it's improved since then, with a focus on adding more Pixar characters and things like that. But in the year I visited, it was... weak. Africa also has the Pangani Forest Exploration Trail, which, no matter what Disney tries to tell you, is essentially a zoo exhibit. It's not a zoo! But hey, zoos are fun. Don't worry, because there's a shortcut past the bats for those not wishing to see bats. Which sounds like the name of a Facebook group started by the Joker. We can build a bat house, let the bats eat the bugs, though I heard from a reliable source that bats are bugs. And yet this poster says nothing about embracing bats by dressing like them to strike fear into the heart of Gotham's criminal element. I guess that's one of those do-your-own-additional-research things. Two Batman references in less than a minute? Pretty lazy, Gansel! Go away. As mentioned, people who are scared of bats can skip them. And go straight to the man-eating tigers! Yeah, I'll bet you didn't know my Calvin and Hobbes reference was foreshadowing, huh? Whose references are lazy now? Whatever helps you sleep at night, you two-bit Seltzerberg knockoff! How dare you, you... you... Um, yeah, there's... There's tigers, and there's a whole bunch of other animals, and uh, I'm sorry, I need a second. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. But unfortunately, my external hard drive died. For absolutely no reason. One day it was working, and then I left it overnight, and in the morning it just wasn't working. I have absolutely no idea what happened to it. I've got my original script still here, and uh, aside from a few updates I have to make to accommodate for some random acts of Lucas, I pretty much can just recreate my original video for this park. I think I'm ready for this park recreation. What, Dave made a pointless reference for reference's sake? I'm shocked! I hate you. Is that John Ratzenberger? I'm seriously asking. The only info I can find on the internet is other people asking the same question. Man, that's obscure fan service that they really put Brenda Lynn in the ride. I really hope you had to look that character's name up. Uh, yeah, that's right. I looked it up. I did not just know Cliff Clavin's Star Wars name off the top of my head. I almost feel bad mocking you. Whether you prefer Hollywood Studios or Universal Studios relies mostly on which movie licenses you prefer. 
I like both parks a lot, although Universal lost quite a few points for me when they closed the Back to the Future ride. Jeez, you'll find something to complain about at any theme park! Why are you still here? I'm bored. The company barely does anything with me these days. I'm basically a glorified logo. The main event here seems to be Disney Quest, described as a five-story, interactive theme park. I haven't checked it out myself yet since it's not covered on my seasonal pass, but everything I've heard makes it sound like a glorified arcade. It's not an arcade! Okay, sorry. Then you get to Robot Not Buddy Hackett, and just like in the movie, he looks at human things and makes shit up about them. I want everyone to shout out what it is. One, two, three! Oh, well, actually, it's called a flash portal. It's a great way to pull up. <laughs> isn't it hilarious when people speak declaratively about cultures they don't understand? Not if your Epcot video is any indication. Oh, shut up. More than any other land, the center of the park, both spatially and emotionally, is Miniland. Whoa, 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 whoa! Miniland? Has my girl been seeing another park behind my back? What? No! Mini is in miniature, you weird, over-possessive freak! And you're sure that this Miniland has nothing to do with anything of mine? I am absolutely posit- oh... What? What do you see? Nothing. I mean, they claim it's something about how the music of the decade has roots in African culture or something, but it's just singing songs from the decade. It's like if I reviewed something by just showing clips of it with none of my own insight. And that's different from what you do... how? Oh, for crying out loud, I drove to Tampa to get away from you. And I shut down LucasArts to piss you off. Funny old thing, our relationship. Yeah, that would have stung more if they made a game that I had cared about this century. What can I say about this ride that hasn't already been said? This ride is basically everything you could possibly want from an awesome theme park ride. It's exciting, it's thrilling, it's got good special effects. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this has officially usurped Indiana Jones as my favorite theme park ride of all time. You have got to be f***ing kidding me! Jerk, do you want to be in the review or not? Only when I get to insult you or cut to 9-11 footage. Come on, I already have a guy for both of those things. So, you don't have any friends on your own coast, do you, Gansel? You're like the 9-11 of people. I brought a clip to demonstrate- And moving on! Mickey Mouse appears, and the crowd goes absolutely wild! Guys, it's Mickey! At a Disney park, I can't believe it! I have to say, this water screen thing is really clever. And it's really neat to see scenes from classic Disney movies this way. Oh, what? Even the hell, Gansel! First you complain that Voyage of the Little Mermaid has too much recycled footage! Now you praise Fantasmic for its recycled footage?! Calm down, Mickey McNitpick. First off, are you really comparing Little Mermaid to this? Wait! I'm about to blow the lid off this whole thing! You were just arguing with Mickey Mouse, even though a minute ago you two were excited to see each other. How do you account for Mickey's rapid change of personality? Oh, kid, I haven't had a day off since 1928. I'm on so many drugs, I don't know which of the seven dwarves I'll be on any given day. Uh, go away, Grumpy Mickey. We need to talk about the show that stars Happy Mickey. Well, keep in mind, we're peeking into Mickey's subconscious here, and he clearly sees himself as the center of the universe. The fact that he imagines so many villains would go through such lengths just to deal with him says everything we need to know about Mickey's ego. Hey, that reminds me, I never give you permission to address me on a first-name basis! From now on, refer to me exclusively as His Most Excellent and Honorable Lord Mouse, Master of All He Surveys, Esquire! I'm not doing that. So. Now that all is said and done, what do I really think about Walt Disney World? Well... Oh, this is gonna be good! Yeah, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about Disney World! Hey, come on, Mickey, hear me out. Why, so you can bash on Animal Kingdom some more? I liked a lot about Animal Kingdom. Yeah, whatever, you freaking hipster, California-loving surfer boy! I've never even been surfing. Disneyland is some alpha and omega for you, and we try to improve on it in Florida, and all our hard work just ignored because it's not like the one you remember. Mickey, I like Disney World as much as Disneyland, just for different reasons. Wait, what? It's true. Well, I bet you'll find new things to complain about when you come back to visit. Come on, Mickey. Truce? Fine. Truce. But just saying you like both of them makes for a lame finale video. You know what? You're right. I should really end the series in a way that pays tribute to Disney's grand tradition of spectacular show-stopping entertainment, as well as my own show's tradition of entertaining myself and making the audience watch. So I think it's time for a full-blown musical medley. Hit it! What? Look at this place. Isn't it huge? Whoa, this hotel what the hell alone's are you doing? larger than Baton Rouge. Seriously, what's if going I wasn't on such a Scrooge, I'd buy a pass. Ah, yeah, screw it, I'm gonna go get drunk at Epcot. Minnie! Honey! You won't believe the dream I just had! Well, don't you want to hear about it? 
All right, Mickey, what is it? I could shoot fireworks from my fingers. I could control fire and water. I fought a dragon. And there were these three beautiful princesses. Mm, go back to sleep, Mickey. What do you mean, beautiful princesses? Go to sleep, Minnie. You know, you really should wear more seashell bras. <laughs>